commission ceremony of Thomas Graham III will become a second lieutenant of the United States Marine Corps this evening. My name is Captain Michael Zosky with the officer selection team of Lubbock, Texas. Please rise to the plane of our national anthem. <laughs> Officer. 
Um, some of you have probably heard that every Marine's a rifleman uh, concept, and even though he's going to be flying around in planes, we want him to know how to shoot a machine gun, which I severely doubt he's going to have any problems doing, uh, especially with the, the family that, that brought him up here. So I think he's going to be all right there. But, uh, so that's what's next for him. After he graduates TBS, he will go down to Pensacola uh, to learn how to fly an airplane or a helicopter. So it's pretty awesome. Um, we were just talking to his father beforehand, and he was curious to see if there's ever been any other Marine Corps officers come from Demopolis. It sounds like there was a retired rear admiral in the Navy, but I don't know if we've had any Marine officers. So this is a pretty big day, and I'm sure he's going to do absolutely awesome in, in the Marine Corps. So before we move along, just a couple of things that I've had the, uh, the privilege to observe over here uh, with work with Trey over the last year and a half. He definitely has that it factor. He's a true force of personality. Anytime he's around the, the fellow officer candidates in our program, everybody's laughing and smiling. You can't be around him and, and just not be in a good mood. He's got a very contagious personality. He's got a lot of funny stories about being stuck in tornadoes and killing animals and all kinds of stuff. <laughs> uh, I think that everybody that, that has a couple minutes to be around him will, will leave them with some information and some facts that they probably were not privy to prior to. So. He's going to do absolutely awesome, but the Marine Corps is a people-oriented business, and he's got such a great personality, such a great character, that he's going to do absolutely awesome in the Marine Corps. I'm very looking, much, uh, very looking forward to keeping up with his career, and I know we'll see each other down the road again um, in the future. So before we, uh, just a little bit about what we're about to do, I'm going to read his uh, officer citation signed by the President of the United States and the Secretary of the Navy, and then after that, he's going to receive the oath of office, which is the same oath of office the President of the United States takes um, which I guess you guys will be watching that here in like a month, so yeah, we've got all kinds of unique things going on tonight, so uh, when you guys are there, listen, listen to the uh, oath that uh, Donald Trump will take, it's the same one he's going to take this evening, swearing to uphold, uh, uphold and defend the Constitution of the United States. Uh, after that is done, um, his parents will come up here and pin his second lieutenant bars on, he'll receive the first salute from his grandfather, and then uh, that will pretty much close us out, and we can all have good fun uh, with all the immense amount of alcohol that you all bought. So, <laughs> I'm looking forward to that. So with that being said, I'm going to read his uh, officer citation, and we will get along with this. Uh, you all feel free to stay seated while, while this, uh, this part happens. Attention orders. To all, health, to all who shall see these present greetings, know ye that reposing special trust and confidence in the patriotism, valor, fidelities, and abilities of Thomas Paul Graham III, I do appoint this officer, a second lieutenant in the United States Marine Corps, to rank as such from the 17th day of December, 2016. This officer will therefore carefully and diligently discharge the duties of the office to which appointed by doing and performing all manner of things thereunto belonging. And I strictly charge and require those officers and other personnel of lesser rank to render such obedience as is due an officer of this grade and position. And this officer is to observe and follow orders and directions from time to time, as may be given by the President of the United States of America or other superior officers acting in accordance with the laws of the United States of America. This commission is to continue in force during the pleasure of the President of the United States under the provisions of those public laws relating to officers of the armed, armed forces of the United States of America and the component in which this appointment is made. Done at the City of Washington, this 30th day of August in the year of our Lord, 2016, and the independence of the United States of America, the 239th. By the President, signed, Robert B. Miller, Commandant of the Marine Corps, Ray Mavis, Secretary of the Navy. Raise your right hand. Repeat after me. I state your full name. I like Thomas Graham. Do you solemnly swear? Do you solemnly swear? To support and defend. To support and defend. The Constitution of the United States. The Constitution of the United States. Against all enemies. Against all enemies. Foreign and domestic. Foreign and domestic. And I'll bear true faith. And I'll bear true faith. And allegiance to the same. And allegiance to the same. I take this obligation freely. I take this obligation freely. Without any mental reservation. Without any mental reservation. Our purpose of evasion. Our purpose of evasion. And I'll well and faithfully discharge. And I'll well and faithfully discharge. The duties. The duties. Of the office from which I'm about to enter of the office from which I'm about to enter. So help me God. So help me God. Come on up.
Second Lieutenant Graham will now receive his first salute from his grandfather, Thomas Graham, who served as a corporal in the Marine Corps from 1950 to 1952. After receiving the salute, he will be presented with a silver dollar. This tradition dates back to the colonial era. During this time, new officers were assigned an enlisted advisor to assist them in learning their profession. In exchange, the new lieutenants would compensate their advisor with a small sum of money. This sum of money was included in the monthly pay for a lieutenant, but it was discontinued in the year 1816. However, the responsibility for the enlisted advisor remained in effect. To continue their tradition, lieutenants would often pay the enlisted advisors out of pocket in exchange for the invaluable mentorship. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the Marine Corps' newest officer, 2nd Lieutenant Thomas Graham III.
We're going to have Billy Bob say grace. Well, John asked me to say a prayer for the Lord. Let us pray. Father, how good it is for us to unite our hearts together in prayer for, for Trey, <coughs> Lieutenant Thomas D. Graham III of the United States Marine Corps, his family, his fellow service men and women for our nation and for the leaders of our nation. Lord, we know that we need to turn to your word and your word teaches us so much and we know that one of the fruits of the Spirit is peace. A soldier's greatest victory is to uh, obtain, sustain, and to preserve peace that comes through sacrifice and commitment. But also, each of us should create peace in our own hearts that came to mankind by the greatest of all of sacrifices. Lord, we lift our beloved country to you and pray that you would make her a strong, a strong nation, a nation that would show her strength by bringing peace to all of our troubled world. Lord, we lift Trey to you and pray that you would take him under the shelter of your wings. And Lord, that you would give him all the support and guidance he needs. Give him strength beyond his own. Give him thy gift of resoluteness and duty. Gird him with courage. And Lord, may he and all of us know that it is our righteousness alone that exalted a nation. And that comes through the integrity of our people. Lord, thou art victorious. We know that you are in control. And we know that in your own good time, you do call with all things to work together for good for those who love God and for those that are called and called to that good. Now, God, we pray that you bless, protect, and keep Trey, his family, his fellow service men and women, our commander in chief, our commander in chief elect, and America. Now, Father, continue blessing our time of fellowship as we enjoy this meal together. Bless it to our bodies and our bodies of your service. We ask it in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Folks, thanks so much for coming, but it's just getting started. We've got lots of refreshments, um, and food is in the back, so help yourself. Hopefully, you'll stay late into the night, because anything that's left, I got your take off. <laughs> oh, yeah, let's not forget, almost forgot, Trey's cutting the cake, so let him cut the cake, and then we'll go eat. <laughs>
Thank y'all.